Hey, and welcome back to the channel. It's me, Major Hall. Today, we'll take like, the bridge that I built to connect my railroad to one side to the other. It's a, it a pretty easy, but I changed it from uh, lift it out to uh, swing it open with hinges. So, um, stay tuned, enjoy the video, and we'll get back to you. So, here's my bridge. This is what it is as a final result. Uh, so, in the video I did, maybe like a week ago, it's a little different. So, I'm going to explain it to you a little more. Now, this I'm running a uh, 12 gauge wire of course red and black I got a staple in here got enough where it can uh, swing all the way out don't pinch don't pull anything connect the 14 gauge wire up to the tracks now here it will keeps everything locked First, it was a smaller uh, black one here, but I got a little bigger one, you know, because uh, underestimated. So now it's held into place without a problem. I see that the track here is a solder on uh, screws here, level to my best of my ability. But the trains go over them, but not a problem. Now, stand up here. Now, I know if you see like this, that is on a curve. Got the straight section here. Then starts the curve right here. Going to the curve. And here's the curve here. Now I got a cut where it won't hit the inner rail. So every time I open it, see how it is? Open it up. It misses that rail completely. Even that inner one there. And this one is easy, just pull right on out. And um, what a problem I was finding that there was a, a corner here that I needed to cut. It was a cut you on here as well, chipped up like that. And I finally got it working where it closes. You know, the gap in the roll is not a hard one at all. It's a pretty thin, it's pretty cool. Now here's the hinges that um, I use here. Not the regular ones. These here, you can, um, it opens and it brings in a return position. Uh, pretty easy to install. You know, you got the, uh, a key here where you can adjust it if you want to um, looser or you want to uh, come back a little bit harder. So I think it's about 35 to $40 for these hinges here. And only time that any incident happened, if I'm leaning on the railroad like that, and it pushes out alignment when the gate is closed. And also if the gate's not closed all the way, it will derail, of course. But other than that, I haven't had a problem out this uh, bridge yet. Here's a, another view of the tracks. 